So, um, hi everyone. Our group worked on conspiracy creation techniques. We were actually two groups. Um, uh, the first group that I'll present about is about uh, Epstein didn't kill himself, from right-wing conspiracy theory to the Golden Globes. And I want to thank everyone who was involved, uh, participants including the designers who made this fabulous presentation possible. So basically the setting is that the, um, when Epstein was found uh, in his cell in uh, the 10th of August in, uh, last year, uh, immediately a lot of conspiracy theories started to spring up, often very anti-Semitic uh, and extremist um, uh, corners of the internet. But actually in October and November, uh, the Epstein didn't kill himself phrase appeared to stick and actually became a vernacular catchphrase used on Reddit and eventually uh, kind of penetrated the public mindset. And in January uh, of this year, uh, Ricky Gervais made a reference to it in his uh, speech at the Golden Globes. So our question, given this uh, phenomenon, was how, when, and where did the Epstein suicide conspiracy theory transform into a mimetic phrase that was popularized outside of online conspiracy culture? So um, having broken down the event, we created a timeline. So actually what we found is that um, before the news of Epstein's death broke, uh, someone, purportedly a first responder, posted the news on 4chan's politically incorrect board, which then immediately led to a frenzy of conspiracy theorizing. Um, then more celebrity figures started to tweet about it, also from the right-wing uh, uh, Twitter sphere, like Ann Coulter, uh, also saying that Epstein didn't kill himself, providing more fuel to the fire. Um, <clears throat> so, um, like a, a few days later, the first organized conspiracy discussion on Epstein's death started to appear on uh, 4chan. And then, only um, a <clears throat> few weeks uh, later, the first instance that we could find of the Epstein didn't kill himself outside of the context of conspiracy theorizing appeared on Reddit in the form of this image on the right, uh, where it acts as a kind of random closure of a comical statement. Then, um, <clears throat> around 18 October, we found the first mimetic use of the phrase Epstein didn't kill himself on Reddit, on the R Nice subreddit. And a bit later, there's a first um, image macro that uses the Epstein didn't kill himself uh, phrase here on the right. Then again, um, about a week later, we see that um, even more mainstream figures like a Republican congressman starts to tweet using the, the phrase. And there's a coalescence of uh, virality when an ex-Navy SEAL um, declares Epstein didn't kill himself as an aside to an interview on Fox News. And at this point, Paul also starts to notice that the conspiracy theory becomes increasingly mainstream or normified. So we see a lot of discussion on the politically incorrect board at this point, where they strategize on the meme as able to red pill normies, which is vernacular for kind of get them to their side of the truth of the matter. Um, but others are also wary of its comical use in the mainstream that maybe um, is a deflection of what's actually um, uh, interesting or going on. And popular YouTube celebrities like PewDiePie start to pick up the line and discuss it in their, in their videos. And we also see at this point a peak in the Google search uh, queries for the Epstein uh, meme. So at this point, uh, Joe Rogan, also a famous influential figure uh, on the right, posts an Epstein didn't kill himself meme on Instagram. And at this point we see the, the use of the phrase uh, peaking uh, first on 
um, first on 4chan poll and then on, on Reddit. So we are now at the 13th of November and we see really the further mainstreaming of the, of the conspiratorial phrase when there are mentions of Epstein didn't kill himself on dating apps and uh, even on Christmas merchandise, so Christmas sweaters, socks, etc. And again, a lot of influential figures uh, make a reference to the, to the phrase, uh, seemingly outside of its original uh, context of right-wing conspiracy theorizing. Um, so here we are at the point where the first slide ended, so we're at the Golden Globes where Ricky Gervais uses the phrase. And that leads again, resonates throughout the different social media platforms. So we wanted to see how this Epstein conspiracy theory becomes memeified and what is at stake in such a transformation. So in the graph on top, you see a frequency of the mentions of the phrase uh, on Reddit in pink with as a context a general discussion on Ep Epstein related discussion on Reddit which peaks immediately after his supposed suicide the 10th of August and then in early November and early 2020 when um, it becomes this kind of popular catchphrase in the larger um, internet culture. Below, you see a simo similar frequency graph for 4chan. So really a lot of discussion on the theory in, in the 10th of August, and then again following the peaks in November and January. So we also looked at 4chan poll and the way they discuss the theory. So. And we noticed that it is indeed a lot of right-wing anti-Semitic content. So against a uh, predominantly Jewish elite cover-up uh, surrounding his death. We also looked at the images that we found um, in this period on 4chan poll and how they evolved uh, given the mainstreaming of this um, Epstein conspiracy trope. So here we see, um, we categorize some of the discussion points that were had uh, on 4chan. So if they discuss the meme as part of an ongoing info war that's able to convert normies uh, about the mainstreaming of the meme itself, uh, as well as genuine discussions of the theory and the kind of vernacular forensics that 4chan has become known for and that the next group on QAnon will speak on more. Uh, so finally, here are two comparisons of subreddits um, for our conspiracy, where this... where discussion of the post uh, of the Epstein conspiracy theory actually peaks in August. And... Uh, it spread to another uh, subreddit which revolves about memes, which then peaks in November. So, um, finally, we try to reconstruct the trajectory from an anti Semitic conspiracy theory to a catchphrase on the Golden, during the Golden Globes Awards. Thanks.